Hey everyone, Riley and Matthew now sitting on the broadcast booth stage here at the Concealed Carry Expo in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, Jake and I just got done doing a uh, demonstration on the demonstration stage just next door here about dry fire tools and techniques. And man, I was really stoked about everything. You know, all the people there. I mean, oh, it, was, it, was it was a pretty good crowd. A lot of people had a lot of great questions wanting to know about dry fire. But guess what? I'm sitting here with Eric Rice from Mobile Tactics, Inc., and also Sticky Holsters, but Mobile Tactics, get, get this. We have a live shooting range right there. I'm looking at it right here from my seat at the broadcast booth at the Concealed Carry Expo inside this conference uh, hall. And uh, that's freaking crazy, dude. So we're super stoked to have Eric here Thank with you. us on the show. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the mobile tactics uh, 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 trailer. And, I mean, it's basically literally what it is, a semi-trailer of sorts yep. that has some really cool tech behind it because live shooting going on in there, completely safe, you know, all the appropriate uh, 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 paneling and, and ballistics, you know, ballistics and protection, yep. exactly. HVAC, all that stuff. Air circulation, right. and it's quiet. Yep. So, Eric, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Um, my name is Eric Rice. I'm the operations manager for Mobile Tactics and the operations sales manager for Sticky Holsters. Nice. So I kind of wear two different hats. But uh, for this purpose, you know, we're here supporting the USCCA. It's our third year uh, for Mobile Tactics to be here. It's always a great event. Um, and this this venue has been awesome, and the attendance has been awesome this year. Really, really yeah. pleased and happy. So. Yeah. I've heard you've had people lined up, you know, waiting to get in there and do their thing. Yeah, the uh, manufacturers there have been really happy because they have a dedicated audience waiting in line. They can tell them all about their products and why they should maybe try this gun and shoot this gun. Maybe they went in line thinking they want to shoot gun A, but after talking to various sales reps, they went in there and they were, you know what, I want to shoot gun B as well. Yeah. So it makes it really valuable for the manufacturers to have um, people be able to test their firearms right there. Yeah in the moment while they're yeah. talking to them about it. And you're thinking too much like a manufacturer because that's also really valuable <laughs> yeah. for the attendee because, I mean, right. we're, we're instructors. And a common question that comes up, I know you get it, I get it, uh, is, hey, you know, in those basic classes, someone is coming to me a lot of times and, Riley, you know, like, what what gun should I get? You know, and I'm like, here's the deal, man. You need to, you need to try a lot of different guns. And you, you need do. to find the one that fits you, that feels good, that shoots good, that you like. Correct. Maybe even it's, as long as the other things are met, maybe it's also something that you happen to like the way it looks. And having an experience like that where you can have a bunch of different guns lined up, you can try a lot of different things. And, and Here at the Concealed too. Carry Expo right. and try it live fire. Yeah, so that, you really get to test. I mean, it, it's not just feeling a gun in your hand and like, oh, say, okay. Oh, that's a good trigger, right? Yep. You, you have to fire it. You have to feel how that how it manages the recoil and all that Correct. stuff. And, and yep. That, that is a huge piece. I mean, I've had people come up to me and say, are they really doing live fire over there? Like, I can't hear it. They're standing next to the booth, and is that really live fire in there? And it is, yeah. The the UTM guys are louder than... I in mean, the taser. We hear that in the taser, yeah. <laughs> pop. And then, you know, we hear that pop, 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 pop of the UTM. You probably hear it occasionally through the mics here. But you guys, I mean, you got a really cool setup. I mean, can you tell us a little bit about the, the technology or whatever? Yeah, you know, that's absolutely. Into the mobile tactics experience there. Yep. So it's a standard 53-foot Stoughton semi-trailer. And it was originally built by Migot Range Systems um, probably 12 or 13 years ago. And the original company, it uh, the owner of Sticky Holsters, actually prior to that, um, he had mobile tactics, but he owned a gun shop. And this sat in his parking lot, and that was his, his range. His range, yeah. Right? Um, about three and a half years ago, when, when I came on board, we kind of changed the business plan and the platform, and we decided we're going to make it truly mobile. Um, yeah. And there's only three privately owned mobile shooting ranges in the country, but we're the only ones that are truly mobile. So we can go to all 50 states. Um, we've been almost every state east of Texas. Uh, we just got back from Texas. So, um, you know, we're qualified to drive on all the roads, everything like that, meet DOT standards. Yep. Um, but so we stripped it down to the armor, and it's armor plated on all six sides, AR-500 half-inch uh, armor plating. Um, and inside, we stripped it all down, rebuilt it, so we put action target systems in. Yeah. Um, we two, have Two lanes? There's three lanes, three lanes, 11 yards long each lane. Wow. Um, separating each lane is we have uh, ballistic glass and blast shields, so if you're shooting ARs with brakes, you're not blowing out the guy next to you. Uh, the floor, we have a ballistic rubber flooring, which helps for sound. 
and we have three and two inch sonic foam lining the whole inside of the trailer. So it's actually extremely quiet. It's actually quieter in our range, even though it's three lanes versus many indoor la ranges because it's all concrete. Yeah, right. um, and you get that echo and all that. Correct, you yeah. got it. And the ventilation, it's all fresh air coming in. We don't do any recycled air. So we actually pull in fresh air from the outside right. um, and then circulate it down through um, pre and HEPA filters, it's all OSHA NOSH compliant. And what's coming out is actually 99.9% .9 clean air. Coming yeah. Out. So actually the air coming out is almost cleaner than the air coming in. <laughs> Probably is, um, yeah. But you're not going to get that smell and everything like that. And in a convention center like this, we actually vent it straight outside. Yeah. How, how, how often is it circulating the air? It's constant. Like, like how long does it take to, to move all that cubic feet of air through it? You know? um, it's blowing at 600 CFM. Okay. Uh, so I can do some calculations, figure that I, out. Yeah, I would say um, <laughs> it, it's, it's seconds. IPhone. Yeah, it's yeah. seconds. I mean, when you go in, you can feel the negative pressure on the doors, um, awesome. like like all good indoor ranges where you yeah. tug on that door and it's a little difficult to get in. It's because of all that pressure going out. Yeah. Um, but it's maybe two or three seconds from the time the air comes in before it's yeah. back out again. Is there wow. any sort of sound baffling on the exhaust side of things, or even I guess on the intake? You know, that's as far as because like to me. Yeah, it's one thing to, to, to line the trailer, to insulate it, and so forth. But it's also another thing where you've got, you know, op you have to have openings, obviously, for air to, you know, go in and come out. Uh, is there anything there? I, I'm just curious. I, there I, is a little I bit like of sound. No, there, there is a little bit of sonic foam in there as well. Okay. Um, like, in here, the loudest sound that you're going to have is actually the air coming down out of our air box. That's crazy. And then out. You don't really get too much of it coming in. Um, but you're going to get a little bit of it r if you're right next to that air box. Yep. Um, but it's still quiet enough where you can sit there and have a conversation. I mean, we have manufacturers set up right oh, yeah. next to it. And they're well, able to I've talk to kind of buy it, and, like, it just, it's, it's mind-boggling. It's amazing. Yeah. It's super cool. So really super cool experience here uh, for folks attending the Concealed Carry Expo. And I'm sorry if you can't be here with us and experiencing this firsthand. Uh, but for those that are here, I mean, they're hopefully having a great time. Yeah, we've gotten great uh, feedback as well as USCCA. Um, so this is the third year that we've, we've been here. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, I would assume if it wasn't a successful um, <laughs> attraction, they wouldn't have had us back here. But um, there's been a line wrapped around the whole th throughout the whole thing pretty much for the last three days. So I think last yesterday we were up to like an hour wait just to yeah. get on the shoot but wow. you know they're given an opportunity here that they're not going to get anywhere else they get to try um six different manufactured firearms they yeah. get to shoot for free yeah um, how many different guns do you think total do you have over there oh um each manufacturer probably brought at least four or five so there's probably yeah. 30 different cool 30 cool. different firearms yeah, how long do they have in there to test out the guns uh they're getting uh i think five or ten rounds i can't okay. remember what um, what they decide yeah. on, but enough to shoot and feel the recoil, exactly. and um, right. they're not in there for a you know half hour range <laughs> right. session. Right. It's um, you know, hey, trigger felt yep. good. I, you know, what I dry fired, you know, I confirmed with live fire, uh, recoil management. How do my sights look? Actually looking at a real target, things like that. Yep. Um, so, but there's been good feedback. You know, we have a TV set up, so everybody standing in line can see everybody else shooting. Yeah. And nothing but smiles coming off, yeah. off the range, which is like you know that's what we like to see. Totally. So. And cost um so cost varies yep. depending on um single day two day yep. uh, we do all the way up to a week we even do leases for cool. a year six months cool. things like that um and so we start a single day is forty five hundred dollars for a single day plus transportation mm. um then it's twenty five hundred dollars a day with a two-day minimum yep. plus transportation and it's ten thousand a week yeah uh, and then it goes to 85 for your second week wow. and we give discounts for repeat customers but there's we've done this for a while and we've figured out ways and we can help the customer offset a lot of costs yeah i mean it's a 53 foot billboard so yeah, yeah. you know if you have a you know say bob's gun shop he doesn't have a range but he has a successful gun store yep. he's throwing his anniversary sale he wants an attraction he wants to be able to demo guns because it's been proven if you can test fire a gun or you have a range your your gun sales go up exponentially right yeah so you can, he can offset the cost by having, one, the manufacturers. He can sell spots on the range, just like USCCA does. Or he can even go outside of the gun realm, you know, go to his local Chevy dealer. Hey, we're going to have 12,000 people at my gun store. Yep. You know, I'll, I'll charge you this to have a banner. I have a 53-foot, you know, 
billboard space, yeah. so you can sell advertising spots. You can get sponsors to put up ammo, targets. You know that all goes to marketing yeah. as well. And uh, the other thing is, you can get some good PR. What we've done before, you know, somebody says, "Hey, I have a three-day, three-day event." Um, but the trailer has to be there a day early. You know, sure. I want to get out the good word. Is what a lot of people have done is invite their local law enforcement to come mm. the day before their event. Um, they'll call the media, the press. Hey, Bob's Gun Shop is offering free training to you know City X's police officers where they can do decision making, low light, no light shooting on the range. Yeah. Um, they'll bring the training sergeant down. The police chief will say, you know, thanks to Bob's Gun Shop, we were able to save the taxpayers X amount of money. It's it's good for everybody. It's good for the city. They see businesses and police working yeah. together. Um, plus, it's a way on the business side to offset a lot of Super cool. marketing costs because now you got almost free, you know, news coverage of your store. Oh, Absolutely. by the way, they're having an anniversary sale tomorrow. Go check them out. Yeah. So, Have you ever seen like any uh, any kickback from like community? Like, oh my God, you're bringing this range, and how do we know <laughs> it's safe and this and that? Uh, do, do you ever feel, get that? We've gotten a little bit, not a whole lot, not as much as you would think. So the general manager is a former um, city manager, police chief for various different police organizations. Um, so he has a lot of experience dealing with public administration, the bureaucracy, city planning, permits, things like that. Um, and what we like to do is work with that company because we don't know the city. They're part of that city. You know, they're the ones help employing people, helping the economy there. Plus, if you get the police chief to sign off, it's really easy for yeah. him to go to the mayor. <laughs> That's a lot of times right? the person you need and approval he, and from. He, and he puts it in dollars and cents. Yeah. So, hey, instead of paying my officers X amount for overtime to go to something, something county's range, we're going to qualify all 15 of my officers in a half a day, and we're not paying them overtime. Yeah. So um, cool. that relationship, we they might not know how to do that, so we can help coach them through. Yeah. But um, we don't get a whole lot of pushback because once they realize it is a good thing, um, and as far as zoning, generally if there's a gun store there, the zoning isn't necessarily an issue because to get a permit to put the yeah. gun store there where there's firearms, generally yeah. the range isn't, isn't too big of a problem either. Yeah. Plus, you're mobile. And so I'm sure that you know <laughs> opens up some you know ways of skirting around what might be typical uh, zoning uh, issues or ordinances sometimes. So, um, man, super cool. Now, what's the actual cost for attendees here at the show? Uh, it's free to shoot on the range for anybody that enters the convention See, center. And that's crazy, free right? Shoot. And they give you the five or whatever rounds. They give you the ammo. The yep. ammo shoot, too? Free ammo. You can shoot the guns. Yep. You can get in line as many times as you want. Um, as long as you have a stamp. If you came on Friday, you can come back on sh Sunday and shoot. The uh, USCCA yep. has been very, very generous. Um, and like I said, I'm sure the manufacturers who are, you know, the, they're a customer, and then obviously the attendees of the customer yep. are very happy too because, yep. they, like I said, they have a dedicated audience. And, you know, where else for three days can you have thousands of people shoot your gun, especially if you've released a new product, you've put yep. millions of dollars of marketing behind it, um, the social media aspect, the media aspect of totally. people shooting it for free and then going to the local gun stores yep. and buying it. So. That's awesome, dude. Good stuff and good things coming from Mobile Tactics. Uh, you guys think you'll be at the show next year? Uh, we most definitely which will be. Which is going to be in Pits Pittsburgh. 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 Yep. So if you missed it this year and you couldn't come experience it for yourself, uh, we'll see you hopefully next year in Pittsburgh if you're able to make that show and come and shoot for free. Yep. Mobile Tactics. Mobile Tactics. Super cool. Thank you, Eric, for being uh, here with us today on the live broadcast. Mm -hmm.